This video will go through the basic technique for ovarian dissection in preparation for ovarian tissue crowd preservation. There may be a situation where you only receive a portion of one ovary. If that is the case, the dissection may be very different than if you are dissecting a whole ovary. Setting up the vials is the first step. It is recommended that you use a mechanical labeler because of the amount of information that needs to be on each label. Please refer to the labeling protocol in the online NPC manual. We also recommend that you label each vial with the patient's name by hand, just in case the labels were to come loose. If you are able to, set the vials up the day before with your cryoprotectant and keep the vials in the refrigerator until the day of the procedure. The following supplies are needed. A flat ice pack, a ruler, holding media as specified in the NPC protocol, and fine dissecting instruments such as sharp scissors, a scalpel, flattened forceps, and petri dishes. The tissue will come from the operating room in the holding media as specified in the protocol. Tip the ovary out into a 100 millimeter petri dish on ice. Depending on your site, a portion of tissue may have already been removed for pathology. If still necessary, remove the specified portion now. If needed, bivalve the ovary or cut it in half. Gently cut away the inside medulla. The easiest way to do this is to use a very sharp iris scissor. Curved scissors are sometimes preferred, but you'll get the feel of this as you do it yourself. After rinsing the ovarian pieces, move the pieces to a clean dish. Begin to refine the ovarian cortex tissues by thinning it from the inside out. Some people will find this goes easier with scissors and some will prefer a scalpel. Nevertheless, all of this waste tissue can be pushed aside and keep moving your tissue to a clean media in a new dish. From personal experience, a curved scissor usually is enough to trim ovaries from patients who are teenagers or younger down to one millimeter, while a number 10 scalpel is used mostly to thin the cortex for patients who are older. All human ovaries are unique. The age of the patient can vastly influence the time it takes for dissection and the tools that are used. Ultimately, the thickness of the cortical tissue should be about one millimeter. The strip should be about two centimeters long by half a centimeter wide. If there are pieces that are smaller, put them aside as they are good pieces to allocate to the 20% research portion of the study if the patient is participating. Count the number of cortical strips and then divide the strips between patient use and research. Follow the Form 4 for additional research handling instruction. For the patient tissue, transfer the tissue into cold cryomedia and gently shake for a few minutes. Load the tissue into the vials preloaded with 0.8 milliliters of cryomedia, approximately one to two pieces per vial following the protocol that's described in the NPC manual. Then add more cryomedia so that the final volume is up to 1.5 milliliters. Leave the vials in four degrees for half an hour and load the vials into the freezing machine. The seeding technique is done manually and the easiest way to do this is to use a large cotton swab that has been immersed in liquid nitrogen. You can clearly see the seed this way and it can be done rapidly. You may not have a lot of tissue to freeze for a patient if you've only received a portion of the ovary. 
please consult your individual protocol before giving any tissue to research to ensure that the patient amount has been met first. Please note that freezing protocols may change. Always refer to the latest information from the Ankle Fertility Consortium at Northwestern University to ensure that you have the most up-to-date freezing technique. You can always call or email us if you have questions. For more information, please contact the Ankle Fertility Consortium at Northwestern University.